people being hailed. On screen. Recalibrate your deflector to emit an anti-tachyon pulse. You have to seal that rift. It's usually considered polite to introduce yourself before you start giving orders. Captain, a Klingon vessel is coming through. Close the rift. In case you didn't notice, I outrank you, Captain. Now do it. I did what you asked. Now tell me what the hell is going on. I've come to bring Voyager home. Welcome aboard. It's good to be back. Fresh coffee. Would you like a cup? No, I gave it up years ago. I only drink tea now. I told the curator at the museum that if he wanted to make the ready room more authentic, he should always keep a steaming pot of coffee on the desk. Voyager's in a museum. Voyager is a museum. On the grounds of the Presidio. On a clear morning, you can see Alcatraz from here. You made it back to Earth. Unfortunately, our favorite cup took a bit of a beating along the way. It was damaged during a battle with the Fendomar. Who? You'll run into them in a few years. You know what? I shouldn't be listening to details about the future. Oh, the almighty temporal prime directive. Take my advice. It's less of a headache if you just ignore it. You've obviously decided to, or you wouldn't be here. A lot's happened to me since I was you. Well, I'm still me, and this is still my ship. So no more talk about what's going to happen until I decide otherwise. Understood? All right. Let's talk about the past. Three days ago, you detected elevated neutrino emissions in a nebula in grid 986. You thought it might be a way home. You were right. I've come to tell you to take Voyager back to that nebula. It was crawling with Borg. I've brought technology that'll get us past them. Why well, don't blame you for being skeptical. Well, if you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? And for the sake of argument, let's say I believe everything you're telling me. The future you come from sounds pretty good. Voyager's home. I'm an admiral. There are ways to defend against the Borg. My ready room even gets preserved for posterity. So why would you want to tamper with such a rosy timeline? To answer that, I'd have to tell you more than you want to know. But suffice it to say, if you don't do what I'm suggesting, it's going to take you another 16 years to get this ship home. And there are going to be casualties along the way. I know exactly what you're thinking. You've also become a telepath. I used to be you, remember? You're asking yourself, is she really who she says she is? Or is this some sort of deception? For all you know, I could be a member of Species 8472 in disguise. Have your people examine my shuttle. Tell them to take a close look at the weapon systems and the armor technology. In the meantime, the doctor can confirm my identity. <laughs> 